Set. This is cardiovascular system. Good. Cardio. Cardio. Okay, so this is cardiac and peripheral vascular system. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ma'am, I'm uh, Nelson. I'm going to be taking a quick cardiovascular exam over here. Okay, is that fine? Yes. Okay, how old are you? 21. Okay, you're 21. Uh, are you Filipino, Chamorro, Chinese? Okay, so 21 year old Filipino female here for a cardiac exam. Do you have any history of cardiac problems no. right now? Do you have high blood pressure? No, sir. Any weird. Any weird chest pain or anything? Uh, chest pain, yes, like uh, two years ago. Okay, but right now, do you have no. any chest pain? Okay. Do you have any history of heart disease in your family? Anybody die of a heart attack? Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody die of a stroke? Okay, so <coughs> you did that. Okay, so right now I'm just going to um, inspect the picordium, check for any uh, discoloration or any uh, pulsations. After that, I'm going to, uh, uh, there's nothing really to palpate or percuss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from top to bottom. I'm going to check for uh, carotid. Now, if you don't have a, if you need to make sure that if you have one of these uh, stethoscopes, you switch to the bell, okay? So I'm going to check for a uh, carotid brewing. Okay, go ahead and look to that side. Take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, look towards me. Take a deep breath and hold it. Okay. I'm going to check, uh, have her lean back on the bed, head of bed 30 degrees. I'm just going to check for any elevations in the uh, juggler, juggler, right? I'm going to be checking for venous distensions. Okay, and we learned all about that this morning, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'll uh, wash it down. I'm going to bring the head of the bed all the way down, okay? And I'm just going to check for a pattern of the reflux. Yeah. Remember what happens if you're engorged? If you have a pattern of the reflux, if you press down on the liver, the jugular uh, meniscus goes up and down. Okay? So, I've auscultated the carotid arteries. I've checked uh, for apical pulse. I've checked for a pattern of the reflux. Okay? I'm going to listen for a heart rate. Okay, you can either uh, check it this way, right, or you can just listen for it and you can count. Okay, so I've checked for a rate. The patient's rate is approximately 68 per uh, minute. Our rhythm is regular. Okay, after that, I'm going to check for S1, S2. So, where will I check for S1, S2? S1 is at the apex, the apex. and S2 is at the base. Yeah. Okay, so S2 is up here. Okay, take a deep breath. I should hear an S2 split. Okay, and they go down and check. Okay. Okay, so I've listened for any extra heart sounds. Okay. Peripheral vascular pulses, so Check for pulse, uh, radio pulses. Look at the fingers. Look at the side. What am I checking for? Clubbing. 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 So that's called profile, 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 side. profile side. Look at the fingernails. Squeeze it briefly. Relax. Capillary refill. Capillary, Capillary refill time. time. Okay. So basically just feel. Okay. So patient will be supine, okay? So you've already checked for the carotid pulse when you did the heart. Now I just check for the pulses down in the femoral, okay? Down behind the knee. You have to go attempt and feel for it, okay? And just go down, squeeze, or squeeze, check for any edema, check here, okay? And then check in here, okay? So which one is this? Okay. okay, and then this one? Posterior. Okay, that's it. Man, I don't know if I got that one. It's good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, he verbalized it. That's good. You heard it.
So, any questions on performance measures? Oh, that was it? Yeah. Yeah.